HTML5 banners are advertisements that are displayed on web pages in different dimensions and formats, and they are developed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML5 banners normally have animations and or videos which incite users to click on them. They redirect to the website of the marketer. HTML5 banners are displayed in different formats defined by ad servers. Some common formats are polite, rich media, interstitial, expand, and pushdown. Technical specification of each format differs on ad servers. There are different tools and methods that can be used to produce HTML5 banners. Some of the common methods are via Adobe Animate CC, which we will cover in this tutorial. Adobe Animate CC was originally called Flash and it has been rebranded as Animate CC in 2015. The software now focuses publication on HTML5 Canvas element instead of SWF which was previously the most popular format. Another tool that can be used is Adobe Edge. However, Adobe has announced that it is ending support for this software. Google Web Designer is another tool, but it has stayed in beta mode since 2014. Animations that are rendered using this software are sometimes buggy. Hype is an HTML5 banner building tool, which is compatible with only Mac. HTML5 and CSS can also be used to code banners, but it requires lots of skills and codes can get very lengthy. In addition to HTML and CSS, JavaScript can also be used with plugins such as jQuery or GSAP to produce animations faster. Ad servers are web servers which host the banners and display them on several websites. The banners are centralized and updated only on ad servers without the need to individually update each website. Website owners who opt to display banners get paid by ad servers. Ad servers do lots of click tracking and generate reports to marketers. Ad servers can target users by analyzing their interests. Each ad server provides guidelines about each format in a specification document. A creative engineer must always refer to these documents before starting to build the banners. The document provides details such as the maximum weight of the banner, acceptable dimensions of the banner, compatible technology or file extension such as JPEG, GIF, HTML or video, codecs for video formats, structure of the files and how they should be organized in a folder. Instructions on how to load external resources such as JavaScript libraries and instructions for placing call to action on the banner.